But first, we need to talk about a construction project taking place at one of our most visible parks. In 2010, a new master plan for John Dam Plaza was created, and one year later, the first element of that master plan was completed. Of course, we're talking about the beautiful, luxurious, and much needed restroom. We're thrilled to report that a contract crew is currently carrying out phase two of the ambitious, beautiful master plan. I think the one thing, it's, it's, it's really a community park. I mean, like I said, this is the main park in downtown Richland. Um, it gets a lot of use by different people, whether it's, it's protests, whether it's political activities. Um, there's fun runs that start and end there. Of course, we have that as our winter wonderland for lighting up all the Christmas display lights and things. So there's, there's just lots of activities that go on at that park for all users and all citizens throughout the community. Well, we started looking at the um, creating a new master plan for John Dam Plaza probably about, about four years ago. One of the elements that's going on right now is we're taking out the east-west sidewalk that's been the main walkway through the park leading from the post office over to the Hanford House. We're going to be putting in a kind of a curved walkway to where it'll start at the corner of each parking lot on the Jadwin side and the, and the George Washington Way side and it'll arch all the way up to where that walkway is to where the, the bricks start and go north. There's a grand plaza more in the center of the park to where we'll have an area where the vendors will go so there'll be possibly a, a fountain or water feature of some type art piece in the center of this plaza. Um, around that would be probably 10 to 12 spots for vendors, food vendors, any type of vendor selling crafts or something with electrical hookups that when we have um, activities like, such as Live 5, all the vendors would be located in one spot would put in a full-blown stage with walls in the back, metal roof over the top of it. That would handle all the performances, whether they're small concerts, maybe a little, you know, a couple day play, something like that. We had looked at putting the stage right in the center on the south end, um, which is where the raised grass area is now. Um, the permanent stage now would probably be over closer to the post office on the Jadwin side, on the south end of the park and kind of angled to where it'd be pointing to, um, kind of northwest towards, say, Sterling's. Um, that actually gives a little bit more bowl area because what we'll do is build a stage actually at ground level and then excavate down about three feet below the stage and then contour, the, slope the ground back up to, to meet where the, the sidewalks are. Crews should be all finished with this phase of construction by March 31st, which means the park will be ready for summer events like Live at Five. The city is looking to form a partnership to build the stage. If you or your business would like to sponsor the stage, please contact Dave Bryant at the email or phone number listed at the bottom of your screen.